episode of Fala Talks. Today we are in Tauranga for the One Love Festival. It is the most authentic reggae festival here in Aotearoa. So let's go check out what it's all about. Can you tell us what's your name and where have you come from? Um, Hayley James uh, from Kaikohe and Te Kuti. Uh, David Lawton from Lee. Auckland, Tamaki Makaurau. We've come okay. from Palmy. Palmy Town. Yeah. Really from Christchurch, Palmy in the house. Palmy. Yeah. What has brought you guys to the One Love Festival this weekend? Oh, oh, buds. Yeah, Collie Buds. Collie buds. Uh, third World. Cora. I'm New Zealand's Bob Marley largest collection, private collection owner. Been doing it for 32 years. Oh, the whole lineup, everything, whole atmosphere, just to be here, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't think anywhere in New Zealand you could get a gathering like this with all the bands that they have on this weekend and we really love reggae so it's an awesome weekend for us to be here. That performance has got to be one of my highlights for tonight because you had two little secret weapons. Who are they? Um, my name is um, Lotima and my name is Yone and yeah. How did you enjoy it on stage? It was good. Yeah. Was that all? Um, it was actually pretty cool and uh, um, First time on stage. Yeah. <laughs> Nisha Mystic, you've just gotten off stage. What an incredible performance. Uh, it took me back to my high school days and I used to dance in my bedroom to polysaturate. <laughs> just a question I really wanted to put out to you guys. What is poly reggae music to you? You've been in the music industry for a while now. Um, poly reggae music is reggae by our artists, by our local people, by our Polynesian artists. And it's honestly different from regular reggae and it's, it's awesome. Music that makes people feel good about their culture. You no, know, like just feel good about themselves. Poly reggae is sort of different from, you know, your traditional reggae, feel good music, eh? you know what I mean? And that, that explains our people a lot and, you know, that's what we do, bring that feel good music. So. Um, I guess there's no difference with the Polynesian reggae and, and the Jamaican reggae. Um, you know, we all talk about the struggles and, and love and, and other things like that, you know, and we fuse that with our, with our music using our, um, our Tongan tradition, Samoan, Fijian, our Polynesian um, flavours in there, so. Where do you see the future of poly reggae moving? Um, inter more international, I mean Boog's already doing it, they're already covering his song, so I think, oh, who was it, Quincy Jones said the only undiscovered part of the world is Polynesia, and yeah. he said that's the next big sound of the world, so it's happening right now. So. Yeah, I guess all around the world, you know what I mean, as, as Polynesians we started off canoeing around, but now we're going to use our music to take us everywhere too, so. Um, I think poly reggae is going to be like the next big thing, to be honest. Um, you know, they're, they're playing Polynesian reggae on the um, on the mainstream radio stations, thanks to New FM. Uh, you know, they're they're the platform of um, of playing Polynesian reggae. Now you've got the likes of other stations that are that are playing it. You know, so um, I think it's going to be the next best thing. Um, you know, a lot of people has yet to hear Polynesian reggae, but um, you know, for example, our new music has been we've been working with the Jamaican greats, um, such as Dean Fraser and um, Shane Brown, who are the you know, the elite of um, Jamaican producers, um, and they love Polynesian reggae. Why? Because it's new to them, you know what I mean? So, um, and that's, on, that's in Jamaica, and for them to actually enjoy our Polynesian reggae is a big thing because that's the home of reggae, you know? So, um, the world's yet to hear Polynesian reggae, and I think, honestly, you heard it here first, that it's gonna be massive. Right now I'm with the main organiser for One Love, Pato, welcome to the Fala. Hey, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, the atmosphere has been absolutely amazing. Talking to the crowd, they love everything about One Love Festival. How have you seen it this weekend? Man, same as you, you know, we live in it and, you know, it's been amazing, man. This festival is special, you know, like, this is our festival. It's like Teruah's festival to the world, okay? And we get all the people here, we got amazing muses. All talent here is getting... It's getting, you know, seen in America, man, and so for these people over there to see all our boys in one place, man, it's, it's just amazing, you know, and bottom point is that uh, this is Aterroa's festival, okay, and, and, and we look after all New Zealand bands, and I'm pleased to get them the biggest stage. They deserve it. So you've just mentioned earlier to me that you this is the first time you've come to One Love. What are your thoughts? I'm so blown away by it. New Zealand, you guys know how to do reggae. I mean, even the Jamaican artists are saying the same thing. But I come, I've been doing these festivals 
since 1982. This is by far the best festival I've ever attended, for real. You just had an awesome performance on stage. How did you feel about it? It was good. It was cut short. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard the crowd. It was good. It was really good. Um, it was awesome. It was really, really cool. It was cool to see the people respond and um, loving the music, you know, and, and just um, vibing and everything out there was positive. So it was, it was really cool. It was great. Like, it was actually the meanest buzz. Everyone was vibing in the crowd, singing our song, back and stuff, and it was, it was amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome response. And good to share the the history, you know, um, I mean we might be been around since the 80s but still people haven't heard of us or, or heard us play live, you know, yeah and we've had that, you know, 35 years of experience putting it all together and, you know, creating that polyphonic sound, you know, and um, yeah, now we're just, we're just cruising with, it, with, with our journey. I recently saw you guys were in Japan, how was that? Uh, it was awesome mate, it was different, um, and it was cold, it was snowing over there but um, no, it was really really cool and went and played in Guam as well which is really awesome and had a big crowd over there so uh, yeah the boys are uh, living their dream. Shay, we wanted to ask you the question, what is your definition of poly music? Mm, that's a that's <laughs> a hard one, I suppose uh, for me it's, it's uh, music uh, from the people from this region, the South Pacific. You know, adding the, the Polynesian um, elements like ukulele and the log drums in on the R&B funk groove, you know, that's, that's what polyfunk is. And it's just getting the sound for ourselves, you know, other than traditional. We have the traditional and then we have our, our mainstream, you know, what we party to. It's all about Father Bob's message of love and unity. That's why we're all getting along. This is the epic uh, moment for Pacific Islanders to be of one blood, one mind, one heart, right here with reggae music. Being able to sing our own music that we created is something to be very proud of, and I, and I love that New FM supports us. Back here, four years ago, I think it was, I sent an MP3 file to New FM. <laughs> Thank goodness they played it, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't be here. So. I'm very grateful New FM and what you guys do for us. Shay, can you let us know what's happening for you 2016 or is that all under wraps? No, sure, 2016, hopefully have some new tunes out. That's the, that's the main thing I'm sort of concentrating on. Plus we have some shows coming up with uh, my band The Crates. We, we'll be doing some, uh, some shows uh, in March. I don't know when this is coming up, but we're doing like uh, the Auckland City Limits uh, festival out in Western Springs there. So that's kind of a big one for us this year. Um, back to America, uh, West Coast. Touring on the road, another EP, more songs, more, same old, same old. <laughs> My manager, the one over there, he doesn't let me kind of stop, so, yeah. <laughs> 2016, I'll definitely put in work this year. We've just released our um, new album last year, so we're just trying to get that out to the people and make sure everyone hears it and hopefully everyone likes it. Uh, we're going to be overseas for, for a lot of the time this year, just trying to break into new markets and stuff like that, uh, but we'll be home for summer, uh, but we're chasing the sun, eh, so, uh, when winter's here, we'll be off over there. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of Fuller Talks. It has been an incredible weekend here in Tauranga for the One Love Festival. House of Shem are on stage right now, and I'm going to go and boogie with them. I'll see you next week. <laughs>